Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Cosine is a decreasing function on the closed interval 0 to pi. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use some preliminary results, one of which is as follows. Cosine of x is greater than 0 for all x in the open interval negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Cosine of 2x minus cosine of 2y is equal to negative 2 sine of x minus y times sine of x plus y for all x and y in the real numbers. Sine of x is equal to negative cosine of x plus pi over 2 for all x in the real numbers. And finally, sine of x is equal to cosine of x minus pi over 2 for all x in the real numbers. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, to prove that cosine is decreasing on the closed interval 0 to pi, what that means is we want to prove for every two real numbers x and y in the closed interval 0 to pi, if x is less than y, then cosine of x is greater than cosine of y. So to prove that, let's give ourselves two arbitrary real numbers, x and y, in the closed interval 0 to pi, such that x is less than y. Well, in other words, we have 0 is less than or equal to x, is less than y, is less than or equal to pi. Now, the whole goal from here is to show that the cosine of x is greater than the cosine of y. And to show that, well, what happens if we compute cosine x minus cosine of y? Well, to compute this, we are going to consider the second preliminary result. In doing so, we're going to take x to be x over 2 and y to be y over 2. Well, then in that case, we have cosine of x minus cosine of y is equal to negative 2 sine of x over 2 minus y over 2 times sine of x over 2 plus y over 2. And inside this parentheses, I'm going to factor out a 1 half. Inside this parentheses, I'm going to factor out a 1 half. So we get this. And so the idea is we are going to re-express the sine quantities in terms of cosine quantities. And in doing so, we are going to apply these two preliminary results. And the cosine quantities we are going to express them in is cosine of something between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And so, overall, this thing is going to end up being positive. With cosine x minus cosine y positive, we have cosine x is greater than cosine of y, which is exactly what we want. So to see how we can do that, well, notice, from this inequality, we have, since x is less than y, x minus y is less than 0. However, since y is less than or equal to pi, if we negate both sides, we have negative y is greater than or equal to negative pi. Well, then if we add x on both sides, we get x minus y is greater than or equal to x minus pi. But then, since x is greater than or equal to 0, that tells us x minus pi is greater than or equal to negative pi. So x minus y is greater than or equal to negative pi. So now, if we take this inequality and multiply 1 half on all three sides, we get negative pi over 2 is less than or equal to 1 half of x minus y, which is less than 0. So then, if we add pi over 2 on all three sides, we get this. Also, since x is less than y, if we add y on both sides, we get x plus y is less than 2y. And since y is less than or equal to pi, we have 2y is less than or equal to 2 pi. And also, certainly x plus y is strictly bigger than 0. The reason why is because x is greater than or equal to 0, and y is strictly bigger than 0. So their sum must be strictly bigger 
than zero. And so what this tells us is zero is less than x plus y, which is less than two pi. And now if we multiply one half on all three sides, we get this. And then if we subtract pi over two on all three sides, we get this. So essentially, from this inequality, we were able to deduce these two inequalities, which is going to be important. Now remember, we know that cosine x minus cosine y is equal to this, as we had just done. But then, let's apply these two results. In the first result, we're going to take x to be one half of x minus y. Well then in that case, we have sine of one half of x minus y is equal to negative cosine of one half of x minus y plus pi over two. So I've just replaced the first sine quantity with this. And then for this result, we're gonna take x to be one half of x plus y. Well then in that case, we have sine of one half of x plus y is equal to the cosine of one half of x plus y minus pi over two. So I've just replaced the second sine quantity with this. And now notice the two negatives will multiply together to make a positive. So let me just get rid of that. So we have this, but remember, both of the quantities that we're taking the cosine of lie in the open interval negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. In particular, this quantity lies between 0 and pi over 2. This quantity lies between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And therefore, by our first result, the cosine of both of these quantities are bigger than 0. And so, the entire thing must be bigger than 0. So we have shown that cosine x minus cosine y is greater than zero, which implies cosine x is greater than cosine y. And so putting this all together now, we have shown given any two real numbers x and y in the closed interval zero to pi, if x is less than y, then cosine x is greater than cosine y. And that's precisely what it means for cosine to be decreasing on the closed interval zero to pi. And so this, place the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.